come to map tv please do subscribe to our channel for more videos click on the bell button it's about the former president of Zimbabwe who appears to be Robert Mugabe, ancestor of the Federal Republic of if he's a Federal Republic, I don't know. Ancestor of the Federal Republic of Zimbabwe, please permit me, but you can correct me. I don't know what that they the Federal Republic or whatever they are. So but what I'm saying is this man is a great man or was a great man, a legend of a sort who happens to fight against oppression for his people or on his people took to arms, fought and won and became president and seized power for over 32 years, you know. And uh, people were like, oh, the things you fought, the monsters you fought against you become that monster. And people were not pleased with him. A lot of people have drew inspiration from him saying he started well, but now he's gone the wrong way. Money wouldn't let him, power wouldn't let him leave, you know. So this man, uh, ah, people have said a lot of things about him, but he was also very, very strong and vocal in making his statements. Uncle Mugabe is someone that I actually, I find with his, most of his ideologies, you know. <laughs> He's a vocal president, but when he became weak, <laughs> we saw him falling so repeatedly. <laughs> He'll be walking like this, I'm sure he will fall. Oh Lord, leave the seat. No, I will. I will die here. But forcefully enough, or luckily, or fortunately, so they overthrew him and um, he left the seat eventually. But and due to so much respect for him, the people that came to overthrow him, the military actually overthrew him with a handshake. It was not a forceful thing, and he left. And um, another election was contested. Uh, he somebody else became the president of Zimbabwe. But the thing is that finally, like every African leader or most African leaders, Mugabe is dead and died in a foreign hotel in sorry foreign hospital in singapore oh, oh lord have mercy this is a man who for 32 years why go die in a foreign land the people you were accusing and chastising and shouting at now you are still the person who died in their soil which means you are not able to build a hospital in zimbabwe actually actually will treat your old age or give you health care during your old time you didn't think about that all you thought about is being vocal against them and also died in it's a shame to to uh it's just like going back to your vomit and now uh, he the burial the burial arrangements has been going on and probably the, there was a day fix i think 16 february sorry 16 september or 20 september i stand to be correct but i want to tell you that that birthday has been put this is, is no longer going to stand because there is a postponement on it and um, it is postponed to further for the notice uh, we don't know when it's going to actually happen because the people said that he is a chief and the chiefs in the village or in the kindred or in the state or in the country they've not been able to say this is where he will be buried because actually traditionally they have the right to point where their own and a big chief like him will be buried so these are more are things happening in Zimbabwe right now but the dead cops that arrived in Zimbabwe um, from Singapore, yeah, <laughs> they flew the cops, you know, and the money they spent in flying that cause they can actually use it to direct the hospital. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know if they suck that uh, their brains, all these are leaders. Well, we still have a thing like that in Nigeria. Our own uncle, Yara, yeah, yeah, you know, also died in the foreign <laughs> hospital. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm not. I'm just saying. So, so we have that also happen in Nigeria. I don't know what you think. Whatever you think, just put down on the comment section below about this guy and uh, Uncle Zimbabwe. <laughs>